I work hard doing all that I can I'm getting money and fans Does that make me a man? Does that make me a man? To build a man What's going on everybody? We got a good one for you today. I appreciate y'all coming out here and joining us again on another episode of Build a Man. Uh, we're going to be talking about some good topics, some good things about how to build some men. Uh, so we can just go ahead and get started. I hope y'all week has been great. Um, but let me go ahead and introduce my first uh, my first guest here today, Mr. Carlton Boyd. Uh, appreciate you coming on out here, my I brother. Absolutely appreciate you having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. We're going to get started in this thing and, uh, you know, just let's do a little bit of bantering. Sounds good to me. <laughs> nah, nah, let's do a little bit of conversing. I like conversing better. You know, like, I, th- I think, yeah, I think women do bantering, don't they? I think women do a little bit of bantering. So Even we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so first question I have on my list is, Tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, my name is Carlton Wilson. A lot of people know me as Inertia, more recently Nurse. I'm a music producer. Rap for a little bit, uh, but I'm focusing on production now. Um, also act as well. Yeah, act. Movie, you're the actor. Doing a movie right now. <laughs> so those are two things I do, really. Yeah, so so I, I uh, in college, I actually minored in theater. That's what's up. So, so I did a lot of... Um, I did a lot of acting, some 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 movie script writing and stuff like that. You have any uh, projects coming up soon? Well, yeah, the movie. Uh, that's one that what, I told you movie? about. What movie? It's called Invite the you Devil. You told me, but you didn't tell them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't know about that. So it's called Invite the Devil. I'll be playing Oliver. It's about a, a guy who is who wants to be a, a music producer. Well, his version of a music producer. <laughs> he wants to be a musician, but he's stuck in the dead-end job uh, selling security systems. And he decides he's going to make a push for it. And as he does this, people around him start dying. Mm-hmm. And the whole time you're watching the movie, you're trying to figure out who is killing these folk. It's a horror film. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, yeah I'm forward to that it. That sounds like horror and uh, mystery and some, a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's got some drama, too. Yeah, yeah. I like it. So, so how far has this music thing, like, where have you gone with this music stuff that you've been doing? I've been doing this music thing for a while. Uh, it's taken me far. Um, let's see. I'll just give you the highlights because I've been doing it probably like 17 years now. Great day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, my first major success was a guy that I, I met on the internet. I was selling my beats on the internet and he got a record deal using some of my beats. And this is in California. Man. So I went ahead and moved out there, lived out in Compton, California for mm. three years. It was a trip. Mm. Man, it was mm. a trip. You yeah. know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm from LA, so I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, great experiences. Uh, put me in a studio with a lot of different people. Learned a lot about just mixing and arranging and all that good stuff. Uh, we had our creative differences, so I kept moving. I moved back home. The next big one was uh, uh, Soldier Boy. Mm. Uh, I landed a placement on Soldier Boy. The last like major album he put out. He's been put out like like a lot of mixtapes. Yeah. But the last album he put out on Interscope, I produced a track on that. Dang. So yeah, yeah. I got that a real was, live famous person sitting next to me. <laughs> let me let me let me straighten up a little bit. Hey, hey, it's coming. So uh, I took that. The next one, I moved to Atlanta with the money I made from that. Uh, I won a, a competition. It's a, a competition called the I Standard Producer mm-hmm. Showcase, and uh, yeah, I took first place in that. A lot of notable people now. Uh, that I beat in that, y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> but uh, it's all love, like it's collaboration. As I'm continuing to do this thing, I'm learning more and more. It's about collaboration, not mm-hmm. competition. But uh, I see what else. I mean, it's uh, it's a lot of things going on. The movies happening. Um, my website right now that I'm that I'm focusing on, like I'm locked in. It's called quopro.com, quo-pro.com. And I've put up a beat every day for the past four months, and I'm gonna keep on going with that, it. You you you've been putting up a beat every day for, for every four months. Every single day for the past hundred and twenty. Y'all hear months. that? A beat every day for four months. Yeah, yeah, it's time. Jesus. It's go time. So, doing that. Oh yeah, and the last thing I'll talk about is uh, I just enrolled in college. Finally decided to take that. Yeah, yeah, it's time. It's time to build that network and get this thing solid and stable. So. I'm at Full Sail University mm-hmm. and uh, going to get a Bachelor's of Science in Music Production. Wow. So that's wow. The, the short, kind of long version. Well, that's big time, man. That's big time. <laughs> and that school thing man. ain't nothing to play with, man. So I understand what you're talking about right there. Started a new course yesterday. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Um, so my next question is, how did you get started with all of this stuff? You know, um, high school, like, music I started, like, with my grandma. 
Um, I just remember her being downstairs playing on the keys and I would go down there and watch her. But I never really started taking it seriously to high school. Um, just had a cypher one day and I had never rapped before and they was always doing their thing in the, in the hallway. So I decided this day, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do. Yeah. So I just hopped in. i never forget. I spit two bars. The hallway <laughs> went crazy. I mean, people was, uh, the principal came over. He thought a fight was going on. Yeah. And I was hooked. I was like, oh, not, yeah. Two this bars, what man. What, what was uh, that, that? There was that movie or that show that Kevin Hart was doing stuff. And he was just like, rat, cat, <laughs> bat. <laughs> yeah. And everybody was going crazy right, in the background. Right, and stuff right. like that. It was something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's when it started. That's when I started really trying to go for it in high school. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's tough. So, um, if you have people out here that are watching uh, some young individuals or even some older individuals who are kind of interested in this type of uh, this type of stuff that you do, um, can you give them a little bit of advice on how to further their own career? Sure. Um, my advice that I would say to give is, <clears throat> you just have to trust what your journey is. Because you're going to find a lot of people who um, will tell you you need to do this. Mm -hmm. This person tell you you need to do that. They may not be wrong. That may work for them. That might work for the next person. But what life is teaching me is that everybody's journey is unique. Yeah. So uh, just trust that if you know you got it, just trust the process of what you do. And I would say the way you do that is by just... Following your confidence. Yeah. Don't get don't get caught up in trying to follow this, trying to do that. That'll get you frustrated. But when you just lock in, get into your zone, when it's supposed to happen, it'll happen for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that's some good advice, man. And I, I think the people uh, can really utilize that. I hope so. Um, so obviously there's money involved in this. Is there is there money uh, at all levels of this music stuff, or is it just at the top level? Because I know you know when you make it big, obviously you're a millionaire and all that. Yeah. But is there money at all levels? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, it's easy to look at that that top money and be like, dang, this mm -hmm. dude just made a million dollars in a week and I made <laughs> 10000 in a month or something like that. But it doesn't matter. Like, there's definitely money just getting started in the crib. There's this website called BeatStars right now that is taking off. Uh, all you have to do is just upload your beats to that and just stay consistent on it and start marketing yourself there. They have a marketplace that's pretty... What's the word? It's popping. Yeah. Like, I can't think of the professional word. Yeah. It's popping. Like, <laughs> if your stuff is dope and you keep putting stuff up there, you'll get noticed. I got beats that I didn't even promo. They get hundreds of plays just from the marketplace. Like It breaks down like from your pro page and marketplace. Yeah. So definitely money. Um, there are plenty of people, plenty at this point now, who are making a full-time income selling beats, uh, and they've never had an industry placement. Mm -hmm. They just have locked in on this internet game have built their fan base, consistently market, and they make bread. So it's, it's, it's money at all levels. That's you up. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. So my last question is, how can people contact you? Um, Instagram. That's like the main way now. That's like what I'm focused on. My Instagram is nurse316. That's N-E-R-S-H 316. Um, that's the main way. If you want to email me, it's nurse at quopro.com. That's quo-pro.com. But Instagram, that's where I'm at all the time. All right, all right. Well, we appreciate you coming out and talk to us, man. Appreciate you having um, me. Um, Build the man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like and, and, and for y'all that's watching, uh, there's some theme music that's going to be out there. Uh, and you will probably notice the voice and you know all that. It's this man right here. He actually designed our theme music. Um, and, and everything like that, and I, I mean, the first time I heard it, I, I man, I was like, man, this is tough. So <laughs> I, I said, we, we got to use, we got to use that. So uh, y'all check, y'all check them out, man. Give them some likes, give them some support, and uh, let's keep doing this. Every so time. appreciate you coming on out here today, brother. Thanks for having me, man. Um, well, we are going to be right back. Uh, we have another guest for you coming out here. Um, what would y'all say if I called this man the sower? Well, he's ready to sow something into you. So we be right back after this. Welcome back to Build a Man. Again, I'm your host, Dr. Johnson. Um, we have an individual in here who I consider uh, like a good friend, a, br good, a brother of mine, uh, uh, a good man who, um, who, who walks by faith and not by sight. Um, an individual who, who, who I'm proud to say, uh, you know, I can actually talk uh, Bible, talk with, uh, you know, do Bible study. Um, and he's always here to, um, to, to give me some advice mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I need some. He doesn't know this, but I'm going to tell him this right now on camera. 
that uh, I actually have a quote from him in my next book that's uh, that's coming up. So wow. uh, yeah, yeah, I got a quote for him. So he is mentioned in my book, <laughs> and he doesn't know that. So, uh, but but ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Ivan Larry Moore here, um, who goes by AKA the Sower. Yeah, um, he's got a huge following all over the internet right now. Um, you know, doing his uh, his own videos on Facebook and talking to individuals uh, about you know relationship things, but also about just being a man um, and a, fa- a family man, a dad. He's a new dad. Oh yeah, uh, um, and proud dad. Yeah, pr- proud dad. <laughs> a new proud dad. He had a, he had his son with him at work the other day, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, so yes, sir. I mean, it, this is a real this is a real father figure here. Um, so, I mean, let's just go ahead and get right in. I appreciate you coming on out here appreciate today, brother. You, man. Appreciate yeah. the invite. Yeah, Most yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. So, my first question on my list here is, mm-hmm. who is the sower? Man, uh, well, uh, just kind of give you a, how this all got started, man. Uh, really, just, uh, you know, being a, a person of faith, uh, being a person that's an avid student, um, you know, I just felt as though, uh, especially having the platform with Facebook, um, there was some information that I had gotten over the past decade or so that I've been, you know, working on myself, uh, you know, building myself and who I am today. And, uh, you know, I, I realized that yeah, I understand the whole process of t- seed, time and harvest. Mm-hmm. Um, really understanding that, uh, you know, it's better to give information than it is to, to re- you know, receive, of course. But my whole concept uh, with the sower is, you know, as I invest in myself and learn new information, uh, really utilizing that platform to really sow seeds of wisdom, knowledge, so that people can get understanding, so they can move forward with their life um, and really become better citizens, uh, become better men, become better women, just become better individuals as a whole. So, uh, you know, I really didn't look at it from a standpoint of, um, you know, putting myself out there, so to speak. I was literally, uh, believe it or not, uh, a little nervous when I first yeah. did it. Uh, but, you know, as I started doing it, um, what, I, what I had intended it to be, it just kind of grew based upon the people uh, responses similar to, mm-hmm. to you, you know, reaching out and, you know, and uh, kind of saying, you know, how it was impactful, uh, how it was stuff that you really, you know, sometimes it's not necessarily things that you need to know that's new. Uh, mm-hmm. Some things is just you need to be reminded of yeah. or hear it a different way. Mm-hmm. Um, as one of my mentors said, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it's actually uh, that when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. Mm. Yeah. So, let's go. Let's, let's, let's you know, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, it's just been a blessing, man. And, uh, you know, just really, you know, really getting back into it, kind of get some new material and uh, just whatever God lays on my heart for that week or whatever, you know, something that is going on, you know, at my job or what have you, just kind of using that and kind of hitting on that topic, you know, because, uh, you know, with the type of work that I do, and you, you know that, um, you know, you hear different scenarios of relationships, of things that people are dealing with, um, and, and, and they really don't have the answers for them. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to really, you know, go from where they are to where they're trying to go and just changing their perspective, their mindset, uh, which is really a big piece of, of, of my DNA, which is just shifting a paradigm shift with their mindset so they can really go to where they're trying to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I, I just I, I want to know where are you getting your material from um, mm-hmm. because I know you I know you read a lot I know yeah. you read a lot and I you know I've been on you know your pages and stuff like that mm-hmm. and it just seems like you bring in like a plethora of information from various sources and you're able to like mix it all up and put it into one thing yeah. and then just like spit it all out but, the way it's like man and then you can back it up with biblical stuff yeah where are you getting your stuff from man man i'll be honest with you of course um you know just re- first of all reading the bible um mm-hmm. and just really really honing into uh god-given talents that uh he gave me um a lot of people uh, well i've always been in leadership type type roles but one of the things that i'm 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 real big on believe it or not is uh being a sponge like yeah. really Really, uh, not talking that much in in a lot of scenarios, but really learning a little bit from this person, a little little bit from that person. I was blessed uh, through the business that I have that I actually got some some mentors that were millionaires, and they kind of taught me, you know, concepts. Um, and this is before really my walk, really getting you know uh, a relationship with Christ. Um, you know, of course, I was raised up in the church my whole life, but for us really, you know, having an intimate relationship, I was really focused on business, making money, you know, all that good stuff. And what was really interesting to me when I really started uh, reading uh, the Bible was I started to look at a lot of the books that I have 
had been reading, mm-hmm. like all of those principles was right there. Yeah. So it really mm-hmm. became, you know, I was like, wow, like this is this is crazy how, you know, all this stuff really ties in together. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it's just kind of years and years of just listening to audios. You know, I call it Automobile University where I just listen to some type of, listen to a Les Brown or listening to, uh, you know, John Maxwell or, you know, listening to a sermon or whatever the situation may be. And I'm just that type of person where... I'm a sponge and I just allow God to use me and next thing you know it's just it comes out and sometimes when I when I listen to the to the lives of myself, I, I go back and listen to it and I'm like, Dog, did I say that? that? You know? <laughs> did I come up with that? Yeah, really yeah. So so it's really it's really it's not me. It's yeah. really God that's like working through me and you mm-hmm. can really see it once it actually plays itself out. And uh man, it's just been a blessing and um I can't really take any credit for it. Yeah, it's just yeah. him using me, and I'm just, uh, you know, being that vessel, that, you know, and kind of, you know, becoming a better person because I realized that, uh, you know, e- even when I was younger, that's one of the things, you know, leadership is influence. So mm-hmm. it's it's really all about, you know, taking getting better so that I can expand that influence because uh, it, it it's actually helping people. Mm-hmm. So uh, like I said, it's not about me. It's more about you know, if I could help the next man and, you know, just even being blessed with the type of job, daytime job that I have, mm-hmm. where where we're able to actually impact, directly yeah. impact lives. Um, and, it's, and sometimes it's not even nothing that you say. Mm-hmm. It, it can just be who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just kind of being present. Um, the gift of presence a lot of times kind of, you know, just kind of plays off. So I'm just, you know, just blessed in, uh, in a space right now, man, where... You know, however God wants to use me, mm-hmm. I'm going to do it, even if I'm afraid. Uh, you know, I actually had uh, an apostle prophesy to me a couple couple months back and saying that, you know, uh, I would be getting, you know, just invitations of mm-hmm. people just telling me to come speak at this or, you know, uh, come speak at that or whatever the situation may be. And even when I get those invitations i'm kind of reserved mm-hmm. to be like, ah, should I do yeah, it? But yeah. but then because because the inside is like. I don't really want to do it, mm-hmm. but I know that's what God wants me to do. Yeah. So yeah. once I yeah. do it, then it's like, I'm glad I did it. Once yeah. it's done, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man. Yeah. So I, I, I really can't give you a direct answer, yeah. but I can just <laughs> say that it's just a combination of, you know, really having two ears, one mouth, two eyes, and really observing and taking things in and then just kind of letting God flow. Mm. Talk, talk yeah. a little bit about uh, the important role that Mrs. Larry Moore plays in in your life. Uh, uh, I know. I, yeah, I know. She she's a, <laughs> she's a great. She she that is a great woman. Oh yeah, man. So, talk a little bit about her. Well, uh, man, she uh, truly has been a blessing to me. Um, and, and if you know anything about about women, um, they're natural birthers, mm-hmm. right? So being that they're natural birthers, that's one of the gifts that God gave them to be able to push out and to speak life into. The man, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So, let's go to church. Now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so 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 that's really one of their their God given gifts. Um, even even when you think about going back to the garden, uh, Satan didn't, uh, you know, come to and talk to Adam. He mm-hmm. went to Eve, and then Eve actually convinced him mm-hmm. to eat of the fruit. Right. Yeah. So that's that's why words of a woman usually hurts mm. if they if they if they tear a man down mm. right but see one of the things about my wife was she would say things to me in a season of my life things that I didn't necessarily want to hear mm-hmm. but I needed to hear it yeah. in the way that she actually said it mm-hmm. because it pushed me to action uh and it actually pushed me into my purpose and and you know getting out of my comfort zone even though I was kind of out of my comfort zone but she kind of pushed me out there even the mm-hmm. more, you know, even, you know, even after getting, you know, uh, you know, promotions and, mm-hmm. you know, all these different things. One of the things she'll say, congratulations in one breath. But in this next breath, she's, she's saying, you know, don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. Yes. You know, just continue to grow, continue to become the person. But, uh, man, she's definitely been uh, they say he that finds a wife, find a favor, you know, uh, uh, find the good thing and obtain favor upon the Lord. And um, I'll be honest with you, man, when I was just in the dating stages mm-hmm. uh i realized that she was truly a blessing to me because things just started to just fall in the right place yeah. uh, but she's a 
a, a, an amazing person in her own right. Yeah. Um, be honest with you, man. Uh, you know, me and her, we're actually, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the stages right now of starting a ministry mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, you know, that came to become ministries and, and, and really getting things, you know, off the ground, uh, really focusing on family mm -hmm. because uh, that's one of the things that a lot of, a lot of people aren't really talking about. They kind of hit on it. But, you know, if you really focus on family and really understanding why God instituted marriage mm -hmm. um, and the blessings that come with it and, you know, the order of how things are supposed to be, uh, when you really focus in and really uh, teach them mm -hmm. what they're supposed to know uh, and why this actually happened, man, things become a lot better and you can be you know, fruitful, you can multiply, you can mm -hmm. you can have dominion and really yeah. understanding the power that we as individuals uh being in his likeness have. And that, mm -hmm. that that's one of the things that's really our passion, man. But uh yeah, she's definitely been a blessing and a wonderful wife, uh, you know, a wonderful mother, um professionally, mm -hmm. go getter, yeah, you know, yeah, all yeah. that. So hey, Miss Larry Moore. Yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> give, give him some cool points right there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's, just, that's awesome, man. So, my, the, another question that I have for you mm -hmm. is, what is the biggest concern or situation or problem or issue that men are facing today? Man, uh, there are many. Um, one of the things that I could say that's like, issue I think that's an issue with a lot of men is they really don't have a place to open up mm. uh, they don't really have a place where they can be naked before one another and really have intimate conversation similar to what we have right now yeah. uh, being able uh, no judgment zone mm -hmm. um, you know it's okay not to know everything yeah. you know what I'm saying and and, and really uh, having a hunger because a lot of people will continue to be ignorant because they they don't want to seem as though they, mm -hmm. they they don't have the information, uh, so so they 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 stay quiet, they're holding in, they're dealing with things, they don't know really you know don't have that circle mm -hmm. of good brothers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think that's what that's the core of it is not necessarily. I mean, it's so many different issues of uh, you know men being in a rightful place, uh, really understanding. You know, really, what their whole purpose is. You know, being the head is not necessarily being the head; is more so being the foundation. Yeah. Uh, you know, and making sure that everything is well. So, but but a lot of people, you know, they don't really understand that, and then they try to operate from a worldly view in that, and then it doesn't go like it's supposed to mm -hmm. go because they're not getting. You know, only only way a, a true woman can 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 submit to you know the 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 vision of the house. Is she has to know where he's getting his counsel from? Mm. You, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. so if, if he's talking about he's of the world, you need to submit to me. Mm -hmm. She's not gonna submit to him mm -hmm. because I mean it's just not gonna work out like yeah. it's supposed to. But when she knows that he's in alignment and he gets yeah. his counsel from the right place, then you know things can kind of fall into place and, and and you can really have you know what, yeah. what, how God intended it to be. But um, you I, know, I, I love the fact that you said you said. Uh, Submit to the vision of the house. Yeah, I like that. Not su yeah. not submit to the man. Not not mm -hmm. submit to the woman. Not su submit to the vision of the house. Yeah, I think that is that is something important that most men and and, and families need to hear. Most mm -hmm. couples need to hear mm -hmm. is it's not about the man. It's not about the woman. It's about where you all are going as a couple, as a right. unit. Right. Um, because you know when you, when you when you marry, you become one. Right. And if you're going to become one, then, you know, everything else needs to go out the window. All these egos need to go out the window. And mm -hmm. the vision of the household and, yeah. the, and the rearing of your children need to come first. Right. I mean, you know, in, in, in Ephesians uh, in Ephesians 5, you know, uh, right before it gets to uh, verse, I think it's verse 22, uh, but 21, before it actually gets into wives, submit to your husbands and all that good stuff, it says... You need to submit to each other mm. with the fear of God. Yeah. So it's really submission to each other, and mm -hmm. then then he gives order of how it's supposed to be. But people don't see that. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't see that part. They neglect, you know, they yeah. neglect that part. All they hear is what they want to hear or mm -hmm. how they interpret it. But you know, you know, if a man doesn't have a vision, mm -hmm. then how can anybody follow that? Mm -hmm. Like, well, how could a woman? Like, if you don't know where you're going. Yeah. How you, you know, how the you gonna lead? The blind. Yeah. How you gonna lead? So, yeah. you know, and a lot of times, you know, a lot of women these days, you know, they they have a vision of mm -hmm. of what they want or what yeah. they see, and then the guys are kind of, you know, don't have 
the, their purpose. They, they, mm-hmm. They're still trying to figure it out. But one of the, the reasons why they're still trying to figure it out is because they're not open enough to have the right conversations yes. so that they can really figure out. I mean, it's really right before you. You know, mm-hmm. your your purpose and all that good stuff is it, it, it's right there. It's just yeah. that people are trying to figure out what the world, you know, how, how can I really make money? Well, you make money. Yeah. You know, you don't have to go and chase money. You know, you just chase purpose. And if you chase purpose, then everything else will just yeah. kind of fall into place. But, yeah. Yeah. you know, so that that's that's kind of, you know, one of... Pretty much what what uh you know one of the things that the guys are dealing with man is just being open mm-hmm. and vulnerable, but having that place to actually have the right people that they can get counsel from. Yeah. I don't have a huge circle, but I have a, a a tight enough circle where I know if I need to get information, uh-huh. I know that guy's not gonna be on my side. Yeah. He's gonna tell me what I need to hear, yeah. not what I want to hear. And he's gonna check me. You, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so. that, that, that kind of leads me into my next point, what I wanted to ask you about. It sounds like mentors are very, very important in your life. Very. <laughs> tell, me, tell me a little bit about, you know, mentor, mentorship, you know, how you've gotten mentors, you know, how you even sought your me- mentors out. Yeah. Um, here's the crazy thing about mentors. People think when you think of mentors that you actually have to know them, so to speak. Mm. Uh, that's one of the biggest misconceptions. You just have to learn from them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so I have yeah. a couple people that I actually, uh, you know, that are, are are people or brothers that I could go to and I can, you know, learn certain things and pull from. But I mean, right now you got you got the internet, you got yeah. you got YouTube, you got you know, you can download stuff on your phone. I mean, you get literally it just you just have to learn from somebody. But then you know, at one of the biggest things I always talk about is knowledge is not power. It's applied knowledge. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you can learn from anybody. You can learn from a failure. Actually, mm-hmm. can be a mentor because he's he can you can you can pick his brain on exactly what not to do. Yeah. Versus looking at oh well, does he have a lot of money? Mm-hmm. You know, does does he drive this kind of car? Does he live in this neighborhood? Yeah. I can learn from anybody. Yeah. But once yeah. you understand that and just pull from everybody, then you know that's really what mentorship is. Uh, you know, someone you can learn from. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that, that's some good information. I think that yeah. you know, how, how can people contact you, man? If they want to get some, get some of the sewers. Wait, 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 wait <laughs> before I even before I even get to that point. Yeah, I need to let everybody. So my, uh, I share a lot of his stuff on my page when he's when he's doing his things. You know, he sends mm-hmm. me con- he sends me uh, messages when uh, yeah. he put his stuff up. <laughs> and uh, my mom was on Facebook be- back before she got off Facebook. Yeah, and she said uh, she said, "Who is that young man in that video yeah. talking like that?" I said, "I said, that's, well, that's my that's my buddy. You know, I work with him." And she said. That young man is blessed. He is anointed by God. It is. Yeah. She was. Amen. My mother became a fan of this guy here. Wow. Man. Yeah. So wow. she she said any <laughs> however she could become you know uh, get on your pocket any of that she wanted me to send her all his information all his videos wow. so she could listen to what he had to say. She was talking about you know she said, what about how young she said he is he is a wise. And and it's just filled with wisdom and experiences. So man, thank you, thank appreciate that, man. Appreciate you know, cause, it, yeah, because yes, my mom, she is, she's big time. That's that huge. Stuff. So it's, yeah, it's huge. <laughs> if, my, if Mama said Mama. he's doing good, wow. then that's a good dude, man. That's a good dude. So back to how can people contact you, man? Man, uh, wow, you know, social media, uh, Facebook, of course. Um, you know, Ivan, well, Ivan Larimore. You know, it's it's pretty easy to find me. I'm like the only one on there outside of my son. Uh, and then uh, I'm on Instagram as well, and it's just the great Ivan on there. So, uh, man, um, that's that's pretty much my two platforms. Um, you know, what I do, you know, on a daily basis through Millions Fatherhood Coalition, uh, you know, you can reach us there, 803-933-0052, man. And, um, you know, it's pretty much, I'm just... You know, I'm just like I say. I'm a servant, servant leader, um, and I'm true. That's that's truly what I what I'm all about. So it's not about titles. It's not about accolades. None of that stuff. I'm just here to really do God's business, man, and uh, help somebody along the way. Man, yeah. well, I appreciate you coming on out yes, here, sir. man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate, appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. And everybody, I want to say thank you for uh, for tuning in with us again on another episode of Build a Man. Uh, be sure to check back soon for any more uh, episodes.